This is Junior Roberts from juniorroberts.weebly.com and in this video we will be looking at inductors. Okay, so coils, inductors, reactors, these are all names given to these electronic components. Right? They are very simplistic in their nature in the sense that it only consists of a coil which is a piece of wire which has been wrapped a number of times. Right? So here are some various types of conductors. Right? We are inductors. We have an air core which means that there is air at the center. We also have a ferrite core which means that there is this material here which is a, a semi well, it's not a conductor and it's not an, 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 an insulator. It's actually a, a ferromagnetic material, right? We won't get much into that, right? But there are two types which I've seen. Air core as well as a ferrite core, right? So, similar to a capacitor, an inductor stores electrical energy. But an inductor actually stores its energy in what is called a magnetic field, unlike a capacitor which stores it stores its energy in an electric field. An inductor stores its energy in a magnetic field. And the principle by now it's storing energy in a magnetic magnetic field stems from the concept which says that any current carrying conductor has associated with it a magnetic field. Alright, so in the case of an inductor now when we wrap that conductor a number of times we actually increase the strength of the magnetic field which is around the conductor here right so two things are the number of turns as well as the diameter of the conductor will indicate uh, the strength of that inductor as well as the type of material uh, which is used as the core so this inductor here will have um, a much stronger inductance as opposed to this one uh, which is which has here here as it as its core right so when an inductor is actually placed in a circuit right and a current is actually and current is allowed to flow through it that current flowing through it actually sets up a magnetic field around the inductor right so when there's current flowing there is a mag magnetic field now if we were to remove that current source by disconnecting the circuit right um that magnetic field around the inductor would collapse causing current to flow in the opposite direction right which is the basis on which we say that an inductor stores electrical energy in a magnetic field right so we use inductors really as uh, filtering elements uh, in power supply units, uh, in rectification circuits. Uh, we use them as similar to capacitors for storage elements and so forth. And there's also one fun situation where we use inductors and capacitors to form what is called an oscillator or a tank circuit, essentially, right? For radio transmission or that kind of thing, right? So these are the basic concepts that uh, we need to understand about an inductor, right? Uh, use it, it's used to store electrical energy in a magnetic field.